Hello, welcome back to the Statman Dave Clips channel. Today, we're going to be profiling Chua Many, the Monaco central midfielder that's getting a lot of plaudits around the world of football. He tackles, he's box to box. We'll dive into all that analysis. But of course, first, come and check us over out on Twitch every single weekday at 11 a.m. Anyway, time to dive in. All the news that's been broken is that Manchester United are focusing on um, getting a DM, but maybe not this season. Um, and Chua Many is one uh, that Fabrizio Romano. Um, has said United aren't currently working on to sign this summer, which doesn't rule it out for next summer. Uh, in terms of Chouameni, again, you know, he's a player that's been um, looking good in Liga the last few seasons, um, statistically. Profiles very much as a sort of a box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, you know, looking at his, his overall stats in the league, wins the ball back a lot through tackles and interceptions, uh, you know, over uh, 3.5 tackles per game, 1.7 interceptions, you know, he's winning the ball back a lot, but yes, as well, he's getting dribbled past 1.2 times per game, so it is kind of that high volume player, like a McTominay, or like a Fred in there, that they'll make a load of tackles, they'll might lose some tackles, but they'll get back, and they'll have the energy to do that and facilitate that, Um and that's kind of like the the you, you look at his profile, obviously from a dribbling perspective, not many per game, but a 63% completion rate, it looks good. For me, he's a, he's a midfielder that will receive the ball um, and move. He'll play it and move. He's not a player that will receive the ball and then try and get back on the ball to play make. When you look at the the setup for Monaco uh, last season, very much a either a 4-4-2 or a 3-4-3, but two holding midfielders. Kind of similar to United in a sense. Two very much holding midfielders. Um, and I think looking at that as a sense of, of Fafana and Chouameni, Fafana is the holding midfielder. He's the, the more of the playmaker of the two that's going to get on the ball, that's going to try and make things happen. So statistically or profile-wise, he would be the one out of the midfield that would come in to replace Nemanja Matic. Chuameni would be one that would come in to replace Fred or Scott McTominay in there. Um, and we look at his profile, we look at his, his heat map, it is more box-to-box -box than Fafana's. Fafana is very much in that sixth position. Uh, Chuameni is kind of more of that box-to-box -box number eight. Um, one three out of three of his tackles versus, versus Len. Um, one clearance, two chances created. So kind of like that, that, that drive through midfield. Uh, the thing that you, you'd look at it as well this season... Obviously, um, Monaco qualifying for the Champions League, the playing Shakhtar Netsk, didn't have a very good game against Shakhtar. Again, we can see by his heat map where he gets around the pitch in terms of the, the tackle stats. Won two out of his seven tackles, was bypassed quite a lot, but also made five interceptions. Defensively, very, very active. That's the thing I want to get across to you guys in this analysis, that he is very, very active in a defensive sense. But for the Shakhtar Netsk goal from Pedrinho, really got bypassed got bypassed by a 1-2 with one of the players moving into the inside channel, then failed to put a tackle in on um, Pedrinha, played a 1-2 and again, scored a really good goal. I think it might have been the number 10 that played the through ball to Pedrinho and you know so forth, but it wasn't a good performance from, from Chiuameni and that's a bit of a concern in a sense. I don't think that's an upgrade on Fred McTominay in that midfield for Manchester United. So if United are... You know, looking to, to play that defensive midfield. I generally don't think there's recruitment that's needed there. Chouameni would come into that midfield in place of McTominay or Fred. And I don't know whether that is worth the money, in a sense. I think that would be a big thing. Um, he does rank really well uh, in terms of in Europe's top five leagues. Uh, last season, Chouameni ranked second for tackles plus interceptions. Um but not only made far more pressures than a United midfielder last season, but his pressure success rate was better. So maybe we'll come in to improve one of those ball-winning midfielders in Fred and, and McTominay. I just don't know if the, the money is, is right spent there to improve the squad. And I think that's the big thing with United. The squad is very, very good now. And it's about making those slight tweaks to improve the squad. You know, maybe if Chiumeni does come in for Fred and, and he has a better ability to win the ball back and maybe he takes fewer sloppy touches than Fred, you know, great. But he's still quite a young... He's a young player that needs to be moulded, 21 years old. And I think you could, you know, grow him into a, a real top footballer. But I don't know if it's it's quite right right now. You know, you compare that midfield to the one where you've got Donny van der Beek in. You think Donny van der Beek with a Declan Rice. There you've got a problem solved. Massively got a problem solved there with with Declan Rice versus a Chiuameni. 
Um, they are different players. And I think that's the big thing that Chuameni and Rice could be paired together. And that would be a good pairing. You think in a, you know, Declan Rice very much holding in midfield. Chuameni playing that kind of box to box role in a sense. Just realised the Rafa Varane's numbers wrong. Like that pairing would work together. But I just think it, 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 it isn't quite the right position for the recruitment right now where Rice next summer would be the one. I feel that's where United needs to be going for and looking for. Um, and again, not saying that Chiumeni is a bad player. Chiumeni will play for a top, top side in European football, for sure. He just profiles in a very, very nice way. Young, talented, will will get better. Will learn from the Shakhtar game. Like the Shakhtar game, he did start quite poorly in the first 20 minutes, but then he grew into the game and got a lot better. Um, I think in terms of his... The tackling stuff as well, uh, being dribbled past five times in a, in a game isn't great. So that's something where maybe he's diving in too much or he's not being cautious enough or maybe his, technically his, his shape is wrong uh, in that moment. That's like, something you could improve for sure. Has the potential to be a top quality player, but just don't think for United uh, right now. Um, I think there's better DMs in the world and proper number six DMs that that United should be looking at. Thanks for watching, guys. If you are new around here, please hit that subscribe button. We've got loads of content through this season for you wonderful people. So that is a reason to subscribe. Also, get into the comments below. Would you take Chiumeni at Manchester United? See you guys later.